Hey bud, welcome back to the channel. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you. Uh, since my last video, the channel has grown a lot. Uh, and I just want to thank everyone for uh, being patient while I put out the next videos. I'm working on something special for hitting 50, um, which I'll be doing a Ad Emancipator uh, analysis and test hands, as I had someone in the comments actually suggest that for hitting 50 subs. Um, I really like the idea and I think I want to do it for like deck profiles moving forward once I make the deck then I want to do a set analysis test hands and possibly some different texts and like a little bit of background about the things but today we're doing something very different um, we just hit 70 subscribers and uh, I'm really happy about that we're 30 away from 100 now um, so today I'm gonna to be doing a opening of battles of legend uh, this set just came out, so I'm super happy I got my hands on it. There's actually a lot of cards in this set that I'm actually looking for. Uh, I really like the Fossil Archetype. GX is one of my favorite, favorite arcs in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Not arcs, I guess um, spin-offs or main series or however you want to put it. But GX is by far my favorite. I've been waiting for the Fossil cards to come out a long time. The new Numeron cards are also in this set, so... I do play uh, Eldritch, so I am looking forward to actually trying to splash that into the deck, see how it works. Uh, I've been watching some things here and there, so I have a general understanding of how everything works, but uh, I hope I pull some good stuff out of these. There also is a chance that we may get um, 10,000 Dragon, the Utopia and the Astral stuff, like that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's get into the opening. All right, Battles of Legend, this set, Although not a lot of people are super thrilled for it, I'm actually excited for it. I think the set is nice. I'm really looking forward to the fossil cards. Uh, you also have the Chaos Emperor reprint for the prize card. Um, you've got the Numeron cards. There's a bunch of cards in here, but let's stop talking about it. Let's get into the box. Uh, you guys will have to let me know if you guys like actually like watch through the first part. Because I think sometimes when people struggle to open these things like I am now... It's a little bit of a pain to watch. But anyway, put the knife aside, make sure we put it away. Safety first, safety first. Let's open this box, a little jumbled up. But we're gonna do the right side first. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to go through these a little bit faster than I went through previous openings. I, I tend to like uh, go a little f slow on these, so I'm gonna try to go a little faster. I think a lot of people have actually had time to see the set. Uh, to know what's going on with it, so we're gonna move through this a little quick. Um, all right, so we start off for one of the shonen the shonen jump cards, Dark Armed, the Dragon of Annihilation. Uh, then we have Psychic Wave, Necroz of Gunyir, Number Four Numeron Gate Kavari. This is part of the engine that we're looking for. I'm looking for the Numeron card, so this is great. And then Invoked Purgatrio, excellent reprint for the set. Uh, so we're gonna set the secrets here. Like, maybe here. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just set them up here out of the way for now. Um, so that first pack kind of confirmed what I already thought about these packs. Is that the secret is going to be on the front. So we're actually, we're going to put the secrets to the bottom. So then we have Assault Blackwing, Sahoya the Rainstorm. We have Steam Synchron. Appliancer, Dryer Drake. Elemental Hero, Shining Flare Wingman. Don't really understand why this was in the set. It's not like people were like clamoring for it or anything like that, but you know, it's fun nonetheless. And then Fossil Dragon, Skullgoyas. Um, the new Fossil cards, I really like them. I can't wait to play them. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is my favorite part of Yu-Gi-Oh! So the, finally getting the Fossil cards is pretty cool. Come on, Numerons. Okay, Invoked Elysium. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. Excellent reprint, needed a rarity bump. Invoked Kaliga. Salamangrate Sunlight Wolf. Uh, we play Salamangrate uh, here. And um, I was really looking forward to this reprint. And Dark Spell Regeneration. This is supposed to be the Winged Dragon of Raw support, I believe. I think it's a little late on these, but, you know, it's a cool card nonetheless. Alright, pack four. Uh, what is this? Valorfawn, Mythical Beast of the Forest. Number three, Cicada King, because there are two number threes in this set. Uh, 
Uh, Kalantosa, Mythical Beast of the Forest. We got both of them in this pack. Numeron Wall, excellent card. Need this for the Numeron Genjin. And High Rate Draw. Not the most, you know, flashy secret. But it's okay. So we have Goyo Defender. Appliance or Reuse. Goyo Guardian. Book of Moon. That's going straight into Goats. And Numeron Network. Alright. We got one of the field spells. This is excellent. We need three of these for the deck. And we need two Numeron Calling. Or it's the other way around. I can't honestly remember. But getting the Numeron Network is really, really nice. Now we just need the Numeron Callings. All right, so Formoth Skipper, this is actually seeing some use in Salomon Great and other Cyverse archetypes. Appliancer, Electric Lyric, I think it's Electrical, Electro Lyrical World, whatever. Topologic Zero Boros, this actually has the errata, so it's actually supposed to be just like how it was in the OCG. It makes this card 10 times better. Um, Quakimero Draco, and Trishula, the Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. This is one of the Shonen Jump uh, cards that was printed as one of the last Shonen Jump prints, so it's actually really cool that we got one of these. I have never had one of these before. My buddy has one of the Ultra Rares from Shonen Jump. Um, I think that card was getting like $20, $30, so this is actually nice, and I think these are actually shorted a little. Okay. Elemental Hero, Chaos Neos. Uh, honestly, I really don't understand why it's in there. I love heroes, and I'm always welcome to hero reprints, but this, I, I don't I don't really get. Uh, number three, Numeron Gate Trini. All right, we're getting on that Numeron engine. Uh, Appliance, sir, Vacuofant, Vacuofant, I think it's... Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know much about the appliancers, but I'm interested to read these cards and see if they're actually able to do anything. Galaxy Worm and Fossil Fusion. All right, now we just need a couple more fossil cards. Uh, I think like the Skull Knight is what's really hard to get. Uh, and that's actually one of the better ones. All right, Malefic Peregrim Dragon. Appliancer Laundry Dragon. Appliancer Breaker Bunkle, Invoked Purgatrio, very nice reprint, and Artifact Ignition. I actually don't have any ignitions, so this is actually really nice. Uh, I don't play very big artifact packages, although Sanctum is an excellent reprint for the set as well, so hopefully we actually pull one. Okay, a couple more packs on this side, and then we'll move to the other side. Alright, Appliancer Kappa Scale. We have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Lion Emperor. This card was actually bought out for a while when Salomon Great Gazelle uh, got banned. Uh, Penguin Torpedo. Uh, I think it's kind of cool they included some of the penguins. I think this card was actually used in the first season or like the, some of the first seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! when they went to the virtual world. So it's kind of cool that they included this card. Number two, Numeron Gate. Uh, I think it's it's either Diva, DVE, Div I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments how you pronounce it. And Glacial Beast Polar Penguin. Uh, I think there's supposed to be like a new pe penguin like synchro monster or something that helps you like get other penguins. I don't know how it actually works, but I'll have to read these cards to see if the, the, the Glacial Beast do anything. Alrighty. Number one, Numeron Gate Income. Ecam, I think it's Ecam. Ecam, Ecam, Ecam. Either way, excellent. This is just the more Numeron cards to get, we get the better. Obedience Schooled, Appliance or Test, Fire Flint Lady, and Fossil Dragon Skullgar. Very nice. Uh, I'm gonna actually like. I I hope that uh, I have a couple more boxes coming of this, and I hope we get more fossil cards. But just pulling a couple of these now is really nice. All right, Appliance or Copy Buckle. Number three, Numeron Gate Trini, very nice. Appliance or Celtipus. Mecha Phantom Beast O-Line, excellent reprint. This needed a rarity bump. Uh, it only came in rare previously. Um, I can't wait to put the this in my Adamancipator deck and just, like, just get this thing hollowed out. 
And then a number C92, Heart Earth Chaos Dragon. I think this is a retrain on a uh, Heart Earth Dragon. I think this was also a Shonen Jump card, but uh, my buddy Ryan is actually looking for one of these. So, you know what? This one's for you, Ryan. All right, last pack for this side. Let's see if we can get anything good out of this pack. Come on, let's see it. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. We can actually see this is not shorted. I think O-Lion is actually a little short on the Ultras, but I'm just happy we got one. Uh, Intruder Alarm, Yellow Alert. Junk Anchor. Secure Guard Note, also excellent reprint for this set. This needed a hollow upgrade. And Invocation. Oh, that's very nice. I know this card is shorted for this set. And then get one of the Invocations. I have two Supers and one Secret. And I've been wanting to just either go all in on the supers or go all in the secrets. But man, this card in secret looks very nice. Very nice. I'm happy we pulled one of these. Okay, so side number two. Number two. Goyo Defender. Artifact Sanctum. Very nice. I think this is one actually a little bit shorter ultras that are coming in the set as well. So it's nice that we actually pulled one. Numeron Wall, need this card. Absolutely need this card for the Numerons. Book of Moon, going straight to Goats. And Time Stream. I believe it's either this or it's the other fossil card that, that is the uh, Foolish Burial for Rocks, which is just amazing. So I'm happy we got one of those. Come on. That one was a little bad. Okay. So, Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. Like I said, happy it's in here. Don't understand why. Appliancer Socket Roll. Secure Gardener. Very nice. Uh, a buddy of mine also plays like Invoke Shadal. He'll probably want one of these to upgrade. So, Bean Soldier. I got you, boy. Appliancer Vacu Vacuum Font. And number f0 utopic future slash uh i think people were like initially like buying these pre-orders out not understanding that it is um number number f0 like i actually just i just got three of the card that you actually need for like the numeron engine but it's cool that we got this nonetheless actually it would have been cool if they would have actually printed that in secret in this set and now for whatever reason, I can't remember what that card's name was. All right, Psychic Wave. This is the Jinzo support. Invoked Raijin. Excellent preprint for Invoked. Junk Anchor. Topologic Zero Boros. And number C92, Heart Earth Chaos Dragon. Assault Blackwing. Sohoya the Rainstorm. Malefic Peregrine Dragon. Goyo Guardian. Penguin Torpedo, and Numeron Calling. That's very nice. We need two of these for the deck, uh, or for the engine. Now we have one. We also got one of the field spell. I believe we got one of the field spell. Yeah, yep, it's right there. Numeron Network. So one down for the calling, one down for the field spell, and we just need one more field spell and one more calling. So I'm super happy with this. Come on. All right. Number one, Numeron Gate Ikam. Ikam, 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 whatever. Salmon Great Gazelle. Also happy this got an altar reprint. Quacky Marrow Draco. Raw's Disciple. And phew, Armored White Bear. Uh, I actually think this could have some application in Tri Brigade that is going to be coming out in a little bit. So uh, I think, unless, I, unless I'm wrong, uh, when this card is normal special summon, while a synchro monster is on the field, you can target one field spell in your graveyard out of the hand. If this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if it's carded in your possession destroyed by an opponent's counter effect sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level 4 beast monster from your deck or your graveyard, except armored white bear. You can only use... Mm, well, okay. It's it's probably not the greatest. I don't know too much about the tri brigade, but we'll see. We, sometimes cards like this have implications down the road. All right, so we actually pulled like really well out of this box so far. I'm, I'm like super happy with it. Um, Elemental Hero, Neos Alias. 
Intruder Alarm Yellow Alert, Appliance or Dryer Drake, Salmon Great Sunlight Wolf, now we just need one more, super happy with that, and Weathering Soldier. I believe this is how you search Fossil Fusion for the Fossil deck, so I'm super happy with that. More Fossil cards the better, please. I just want to get, I want to get at least one of all the fusions. Alright, four months skipper, excellent in cyber specs. Uh, Appliancer, Electrical Lyrical World. Uh, Katosa, Mythical Beast of the Forest. Number S39, Utopia the Lightning. I've never actually had one of these before, so I'm happy we got one. And Chimeratic Mega Fleet Dragon. This is an excellent reprint. Uh, I know that Cyber Dragons may actually get another structure deck, but I highly doubt that this card's going to be a foil for that. Uh, the only other foil is part of the uh, like a legendary deck sprint, and it was ultra rare. So getting this in a secret is actually really nice. Okay, let's see what we get. Obedience Schooled, Appliancer Copy Bulk, Afterglow, Appliancer Celtipus, and Fossil Warrior Skullbone. Oh, that's really nice. I know a lot of these cards have effects in the graveyard that allow you to do stuff on your opponent's turn, which is why I kind of want to try them with that Emancipator. Some of them being level four can actually like be, I, I guess, synchro plays or can be disruption. I kind of want to try it going second with some of these effects because you can actually help break a board that way, but I'm happy we pulled one. Black Whirlwind, Appliancer Reuse, Fire Flint Lady. This is an excellent card for this set. This is an excellent card for both Fire Warriors, the Infernoble Knights, and Warriors in general. This is an excellent extender for those decks. Appliancer Brick of Bunkle, and Glacial Beast Blizzard Wolf for the secret. I don't know too much about these, but I know that's. I kind of wish it was a rock instead of a, like an Aqua, because that'd be cool to have an Emancipator or you know, that'd be freaking cool. All right, we got three packs left for this box. Okay. Appliancer Laundry Dragon. Appliancer Socket Roll. Cross Sheep, also an excellent reprint. This is very much needed. I couldn't believe that they actually printed this in a rare and then they shorted it and it shot up like 10 bucks. Actually, it's really nice because some of my entry packs that I played in locals, I actually pulled a few, which was super nice. So I've got a couple copies on hand. Flower Cardian, Cherry Blossom, and for the secret, Elemental Hero, Escaradao. Really don't understand why it's a secret, why I got a rarity bump, but I'm happy with it nonetheless. Two more packs. Super All In. Salomon Great Gazelle, wish this was at more than one. Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. In the set, don't understand why, still happy with it. Number two, Numeron Gate. It's been a while since we've actually seen a Numeron card, so it's nice that we're getting a couple of these for the engine. And number C1, Numeron Chaos Gate Sunya. This box has been amazing. Uh, this is probably one of the cards that's also up there within the set. Uh, that's been shorter a little bit, but I'm super happy that we got one of these. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can get something good to end, end this box with. Appliancer, Kappa, Scale, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Lion Emperor, Blackwing, Chris, the Crack of Dawn, Appliancer, Test, and Glacial Beast, Iceberg, Narwhal. Not the best card to end a box with, but I'm happy we have one all the less. But man, this, this was a hell of a box. That was a pretty good box. Uh, pulling the Invocation, Numeron Network, Numeron Calling, and the number C1, Numeron Chaos Gate, Sonia, and a whole bunch of the fossil cards we were looking for. I could not have asked for a better box. Um, really, like, the only thing I didn't get was, like, the Chaos Dragon, and that would have been amazing, too. But these are the cards I was really looking for out of the box. I'm super happy with them. Um, but thank you for sticking around to the end. I really appreciate it. Uh, so does Sophie. She is here as well. Hi, Soph. But I really appreciate you sticking around to the end. It really means a lot. At the time of this video, we're currently at 70 subscribers, and I really appreciate all the support lately, the very nice kind words on the last video. I know I take a little bit longer to post videos here and there, but that's just because I wanted to make sure that I'm putting out the best quality video that I can at the time. 
Uh, and if I don't feel like I'm putting out a good quality video, then I'd rather not put it out at all. Um, but again, I appreciate the support lately. We're on the grind to uh, 100 subs and to get that custom URL. Also too, sometimes I stream on Twitch and you can find me at twitch.tv slash heybudletsplay. I'm currently, uh, I wanna say like 14 or 15 uh, followers away from becoming affiliate on Twitch. So sometimes if you'd like me to see some, do some other stuff other than just Yu-Gi-Oh content. I play Pokemon, I'm gonna play some other games over on my Twitch channel. Uh, you can find that link down below as well. But please uh, comment, let me know what you thought the best pull out of the box was, what you're looking forward to in Battles of Legend Armageddon. Uh, what you look forward to uh, in a future video or future set. We're going to be doing some stuff with Rise of the Duelist and the Dragma Archetype. Uh, please remember to like the video as well and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get more Yu-Gi-Oh! content here at the channel. And, uh, well, I'll see you later, bud.